Livestock News, brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook, or visit us online at sftmeats.com. Um, Chad, we're coming into fall, right. soon be winter, rations yep. for livestock. When we get into talking about rations, the first thing to understand is we need to know where we're at. So it's important that you go out and, and look over your herd or your livestock or your pets, uh, see what kind of body condition they are in, and uh, see if you're seeing any ribs or any of those indicators that they might need a little bit now. Uh, now would be the time to put weight on before we get to winter uh, if they need a little bit of condition to gain. So I think it's important that we know where we're at first uh, and then we talk about going into uh, what type of rations that we might be feeding and that sort of thing. So we're looking at cattle and, and horses today. Mm -hmm. right. uh, what are some of the things they should be looking at on the package if someone's coming in and buying package feed? Right, there's two major things. A lot of times when you're looking at feed, you know, it's easy just to look at the percent protein and uh, just go off that. Okay, am I getting a 14% or 16% or 12% or 10%? Um, a lot of that really doesn't matter. Once you really look into the feed and you see what kind of ingredients are there, you'll understand the types of energies that they're using and, and how those pay off for your livestock. So like for a horse feed we're talking about, you know, if we do want to look at protein, somewhere in the neighborhood of a 14% protein uh, seems to do well over winter time. Uh, looking for somewhere around a 6% fat, uh, something in that. These, uh, the, the trend in horse feed is to do more high fat, uh, that type of energy, so you don't have uh, uh, basically problematic behavioral issues with horses. They get a little anxious or a little uh, when their gut's uncomfortable because they've eaten a lot of carbohydrates. So they, they uh, put them into a category where they're feeding them fat now. With cattle, uh, we are looking at that protein number that is important to cattle. They use that protein to help them break down their forage. So something like a 20% range cube tub, uh, forage balancer, something to that effect if you've got a brood cow operation over winter is important. Yeah. What about mineral blocks? Is, there, is that the time to stick out a mineral block? Um, mineral is important. Uh, that's going to help with their immunity. Uh, mainly in wintertime when we talk about supplementation, these protein supplements have mineral in them. Uh, so the mineral blocks and those sorts of things are more for summer when we're not supplementing with other issues. So the, the summer out there, the, the, the mineral blocks are fine. You should still always have a loose mineral available, a uh, free choice form at all time or a mineral block or something like that. Uh, but we do have, we're, we're fortunate that we have some of those supplements coming in the ration uh, in the winter time to help them build up. So. You talked about forage. Mm -hmm. When should we start laying that forage out? Um, for the most part, right after when things start freezing, uh, it really depends on your hay supply. If you've got pretty good hay supply, uh, the grass starts to wind down a little bit. We think about moving those brood cows into winter where we winter pasture them, uh, let them eat that down a little bit, and then just start throwing out a bale of hay every once in a while and see how they do, see how they go through it, start supplementing. Uh, we also want to make sure that we're we're using minerals at that point when we start feeding hay. A lot of times the hay is lower in vitamins and minerals than your, your fresh grass that you have out there. Uh, so we just talk about supplementing a little bit as we go and, and uh, introduce that hay as soon as uh, you, know, you, you kind of get the sense that your pasture's had enough and you're ready to start supplementing. Yeah. Again, people have questions, they go to haycal.com. That's correct. Yeah. Or they can just come out the store and ask you That's questions. right. We got some, some links and information on HayCal that kind of that go over some of those, some ways to body score your animals, that kind of thing. Um, and they can always come in or call us, and we're happy to walk them through the process, their rations and that sort of thing, and uh, get people to have their animals in the right condition to, to make winter.